This is the first of a series of videos which will hopefully detail how to build a brand new garage as a homeowner. Before you is a design I selected from a catalog available on the internet. Um, reason for doing so is generating a plan set would have been fairly time consuming from uh, scratch. So we bought a plan set that would work and then adapted it to make it acceptable for what we wanted as well as be in compliance with the local rules and regulations. Once you have a plan set, your next step will be to go and approach your local building department to go through the permitting process required uh, to be allowed to construct such a garage. Um, dealing with your local authority um, can be the most challenging part of this project, to be entirely honest. In the image, um, you can see roughly what we selected, the major differences being the four dormers were deleted off the roof line as I wanted to be able to easily retrofit this for solar. And I also took away the overhangs on the left and right of the building to make construction a little bit easier and also have less soffits to maintain. Next, you've got to design the foundation for the structure. And uh, depending on the size of your garage, you'll be actually dictated what kind of footing you'll be required to build. For example, if you're over 600 square feet like I am, you'll be required to do a full 42 inch footing here in Michigan. Um, if you're under 600 square feet, code will allow you to generally just create a slab with a thickened footing, which may only be 12 to 18 inches deep. Here's a cross section of the building detailing out most of the uh, general elements. Of course, your submission to the city will require uh, exact framing construction for all of the walls, as well as the, uh, in this case, truss system. Once you've gotten through the permitting process and have received an approved permit and are allowed to move forward, the next step will be your site preparation. I was lucky enough to have a friend of mine who had a backhoe to excavate the footing areas to clear any heavy roots, rocks uh, out of the area. And then we were going to go ahead and recompact the site um, and come back in with a 12 inch bucket and dig the footings properly, nice and straight. And uh, that way we wouldn't be wasting a lot of concrete. So to finish the video, here's a picture of the smaller machine with the 12-inch bucket that was used to dig the final footings. We did hire a professional crew to actually construct the foundation for us, um, and I'll go through that process in the next video. Thank you for struggling through my long-winded slideshow, and if you'd give a like and a comment, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.